Think of a Scottish lord and you might think of somebody like this. But some companies have been signing up new lords or lairds as they're known locally by the busload. They come from as far as Russia, Australia, Canada and the United States. My name is Lady Victoria Zoner and this... I am Brian, Lord <laughs> Brian Russell. Anyone can be a Scottish Lord for just £30, according to enterprising landowners who are selling little plots of land with big noble titles. Everybody here uh, enjoys the fact that they are little lairds of a square foot. They're not trying to pretend that they've become great landowners or you know, the, the rivals of the, the great clan chiefs of Scotland. Around a quarter of a million people now style themselves the Lords of Glencoe. But Scottish lawmakers have flagged up a few problems. You cannot in law in Scotland own a square foot of land. Uh, to be an owner of land in Scotland, you must have a registered title in the registers of Scotland and you must have possession of that land. And the law explicitly uh, excludes what it calls um, souvenir plots. And there's no shortcut to the Scottish nobility, which is steeped in history and heraldry. You cannot buy a lordship. A lordship of the manor, which is what people may have in mind as an entirely English um, characteristic. Uh, what you can buy are souvenir plots of land, which very often are, the people are erroneously told that they can call themselves something they cannot. Highland titles say the money that's pouring in goes towards the conservation of Scotland's stunning landscape. But if any so-called lord claims he's reached the summit of Scottish society, he'll be told to take a hike.